Hello and welcome to Healthy Tales with Sahiba, brought to you by Zokonat, a leading business management software for health and nutrition businesses. Healthy Tales with Sahiba is a first of its kind TV talk show featuring leaders from the health, nutrition and fitness industry. Today I have two very special guests on my show. Come, let's welcome them. It's an absolute privilege to introduce my guest today, a lawyer and an engineer who both work together now to grow, deliver fresh, natural, organic produce. Please welcome Mr. Yajush Khosla and Mr. Mohit Kumar, co-founders of Kaisa Farms. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you for having us. It's an absolute pleasure. Um, so, uh, Yajush, I want to start with you. You are a lawyer. How did you get into this space of organic farming? So it started actually almost six years back. Um, I was looking at my next out from law and I was certain of that. We're a resident, we have a real estate uh, holding and it started from land. And I was just kind of looking at how I could not invest, but kind of build something. And my father used to be uh, a passionate farmer and he used to do this as a hobby. And he used to just, you know, provide it to all his friends and family. And it started from actually that and me trying to take that out and making it a larger, more commercially viable sort of system. And that's where I started with just farming. Um, initially, I was exploring other avenues and then slowly, slowly came around to organic being the most viable and also something for the future. So that was actually my way of um, getting into the industry. Then I worked along the way, learned, and work for a front-end company as well to just understand consumer demand, understand what the market is towards. And then I met Mohit. And then that's how we managed to bring Kaisa to where it is today. And Mohit ji, you have an engineering career, B.Tech, but your family family background is farming. So how did you come to farming in organic farming? माता पिता के कहने पे मैंने अपना बीटेक में एडमिशन लिया 2012 में मेरे साथ कुछ दो तीन इंसिडेंट ऐसे हुए उसी वक्त मैंने अपनी बीटेक पास की थी यार वाले डेली फोन कर दे पूछते कि बेटा अच्छा खाना अच्छी सब्जी खाना मार्केट से बाहर का फास्ट फूड अवॉइड करना और उस वर्ष हमारी जो फसल थी खराब हो गई तो घर पे जब हम बात करते थे ये चीजें पता चलती थी इन कारणों से हुई तो उसी में क्या चीजें थी कि कुछ जो हमारा वो खाली स्पेस था जिसमें जैविक फार्मिंग कर देते वो खराब नहीं हुआ जबकि जो हम कमर्शियल सब्जियां उगा रहे थे तो वो खराब हो गया तो उस वक्त जो मेरा इंटरेस्ट था वो और ज्यादा हो गया कि भाई अब तो आपको ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग ही करनी है तो जो पहले आप सिर्फ अपने परिवार के लिए ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग करते थे उसको आपने कन्वर्ट कर दिया एंड आपने कमर्शियल फार्मिंग पूरा रिप्लेस कर दिया सो यजेश वेन यू एंड मोहित गॉट टूगेदर एंड स्टार्टेड कायसा फार्म वॉट इज इट दट यू बोथ वॉन्टेड टू डू डिफरेंटली so kaisa actually came about to be because um like you, like you know he's a, he's from the farming background and i'm from a business background and legal and my family's in the business but um the idea was actually to kind of change the engagement between the usual buyers and the sellers um the buyers being us and the sellers being the farmers and move it away from that try to kind of uplift the farmers and build more towards an ecosystem which is more circular which has everyone involved in it as the stakeholders and um, to basically offer something to the customers as well as uh, like businesses that doesn't necessarily have to um, go from step by step and in a sense what i mean by that is when you take when you buy a sabzi or when you buy vegetables or anything from the farmers um, at every step there's every hand that it goes through there's a price in it but there's no value in it and so it's not a the the chain unfortunately only increases in price no value in and the product remains the same so what i also saw was that the farmers were not getting their due and um, neither were the companies and neither was the last mile customers as well because the hands in the middle were far too many so the idea was to build an ecosystem which has them an equivalent and you know similar like to share an ecosystem where they are as important as we are and so that they also get the due benefits that the customers or the end consumer should be able to get 
and the only way to do that was to kind of um, get into the growing aspect rather than just keep in the community at a buy and sells which is what it is today so is that more of a trend buy and sell or is are these kind of collaborations growing now the collaborations are slowly i, I would like to believe that they are um, but i do know that majority of them as of now are buy and sell because it's the easiest and the only possible way to go about it uh, the people that buy don't want to take on the headaches of the people that sell and the people that sell unfortunately cannot cannot do the buying for themselves they cannot find those markets for themselves so there was a gap that we saw and uh, that's also one of the reasons why me and him decided to come together and kind of bridge that gap so that we could uh, bring the benefit of doing so not just to the customer in front uh, which would make it easier for us to sell but at the same time also benefit the farmer at the back end um, and uplift you know them in terms of practices, policies, and final price, which they are deserving of. Right, well, that's a wonderful thought and very important, uh, I would say. Um, Mohit ji, you tell that in organic farming and commercial farming, how much is the difference and what is the difference? In your commercial farming, you have available in the market available rasayani khado, which you have available in the market. कमर्शियल फार्मिंग है उसके जो प्रोडक्शन होती है उसमें न्यूट्रिशन वैल्यू बहुत कम हो जाती है जबकि आपके ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग में जो आपका प्रोडक्शन होता है उसमें न्यूट्रिशन वैल्यू बहुत अच्छी होती है सेकंडली जो मैं बताना चाहूंगा आपको कि ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग में आपको जो हमें वाटर की जरूरत पड़ती है वो बहुत लिमिटेड वाटर की जरूरत पड़ती है थर्ड पॉइंट आपको कमर्शियल फार्मिंग में आपको हम अपना पर्यावरण को काफी नुकसान पहुंचाते हैं जबकि आपके ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग आपकी इको फ्रेंडली एक फार्मिंग होती है एंड लेकिन ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग के लिए आपको कुछ सर्टिफिकेशंस चाहिए होते हैं ये एक प्रोसीजर होता है जो कि चार वर्ष के लिए होता है थर्ड ईयर तक आपको एक सर्टिफिकेशन बॉडी होती है उसके पास जाना पड़ता है और वो आपको सर्टिफाइड करती है एवरी ईयर आपकी ऑडिट्स होती हैं चेकिंग्स होती हैं आपके फार्मर्स की फार्मर डायरी चेक होती है कि उसने क्या क्रोप लगाई है क्या उसने दवाई उसने यूज की है आ, उसमें उन्होंने डाली क्या क्या चीजें हैं लाइक फार्म मैन्योर है बाहर से जो परचेज किया गया है स्पोर्ट बाहर से कुछ परचेज किया गया है तो उसका रिपोर्ट मेंटेन किया जाता है क्या वो आप कमर्शियल वाली चीजें तो यूज नहीं कर रही हैं तो स्ट्रिक्ट गाइडलाइंस होती है चेकलिस्ट सो टू से फॉर दिस सो यह जो ऑर्गेनिक प्रोड्यूस यूजली हैज अर प्राइस पॉइंट हाउ डू यू कन्विंस योर कंज्यूमर्स टू परचेज ऑर्गेनिक फूड so organic um, as an ecosystem right um, if you look at it everything that commercially farming offers you is straight halved in terms of output so automatically the price appreciation starts right there apart from that in commercial there's just this regular spray and it does the job in organic you have to find solutions constantly so the process of finding solutions usually is tedious cumbersome and is expensive apart from that because of the regulations uh, that organic comes with there are certain compliances that you have to follow even in the supply chain in terms of how you're you know getting it to you how is it reaching how is it being stored over there or how is it being harvested and considering all of these things it takes more time and it takes more effort and subsequently obviously increases the price so the compliances also that apply um, make it a lot more tedious in terms of the final output because if you look at it it like where it's being stored how it's being transported what is it being transported in all of these facets also are very important for us to keep a check on and in principle to bring that traceability from the farm to the ground like to the customer directly um and managing the whole supply chain end to end because in our case we do it ourselves that does put out an appreciative cost and then obviously the the most important aspect that is there that we do kind of emphasize on is the fact that the nutritional advantage that the produce in itself offers it cannot be you know cannot be compared to any of the others that do and uh, yeah and it also needs time like i mean it's not something that you you know you start eating in your good to go in like no time so it takes its own due course but your body will start responding towards it so what we do ask them for is just some time 
you know, to be able to kind of get accustomed to it and to see what are the changes that actually happen on a day-to-day -day basis because the body talks faster than anything else. So that is what we try to and that's how we try to. But um, it is difficult nonetheless. Yeah, just also, you know, I've noticed that people usually don't understand the difference between organic and natural. There are a lot of products which say natural on the label and people pick it up thinking that it's actually organic. Can you educate us on that? What is the difference? So in principle, organic um, is a framework, right? And what it does is that there are certain guidelines that you follow for you to be organic. Um, the primary difference that I feel that is there in natural and organic is natural follows the principles of organic. Natural farming is organic in principle. Uh, it follows the practices of organic. But the difference is the certification, um, the stringent timeline that it takes, the three years that is there, the inputs, the management. So there is a difference for sure. Um, natural is, mo is mostly in the cases where they're most small time farmers and organic is more on a larger scale and it is more of a community sort of farming which is where the certification comes in and someone does it either from the government or from private stakeholders but natural is just a small time farmer um, again in general like just to be able to see and figure out whether it's natural the cost also is more for us for example to be able to actually um, decipher the difference between the two because you have to get those tested so, um, Yajush, is it very difficult for an individual farmer to turn his farmland into an organic farm? Certainly. It's a far more tedious process apart from the cost that comes with it. It just, I, it's not possible for a single standalone farmer, to be honest, to be able to do it. It takes a lot. Taking from there, uh, Mohit ji, I know we've come a long way as a country, but uh, abhi bhi jo farmers hain, unko, unki life itni aasaan nahi hai. And there are a lot of difficulties in the BB farming process. So, you can tell us what difficulties are coming from the BB farming process. When you talk about commercial farming, you will get a good company from the BB farming process, which will get a good quality of the BB farming process. But in the organic farming, there are only one or two companies. And their cost is so much more than the BB farming process, that the farmer doesn't afford it. Second, you have to do it आप अपने किसान अपने फार्म पे ही फार्म मैन्युअल बनाता है पर आजकल बीमारियां ऐसी ऐसी फसलों में आती है कि वो उनसे कंट्रोल नहीं होती फिर किसान को बायो पेस्टिसाइड की तरफ मूव करना पड़ता है जो कि मार्केट में अवेलेबल है पर उनके भी प्राइस किसान के पहुंच से बहुत ज्यादा ऊपर है तो ये एक सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज है तीसरा सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज है कि इन दो चैलेंज को क्रॉस करने के बाद जब किसान अपनी फसल को काटता है तो आप जब कमर्शियल की बात करते हैं उसके लिए प्रॉपर मंडी है काफी आउटलेट है जबकि ऑर्गेनिक मार्केट के लिए ऐसा ना कोई आउटलेट है ना कोई मंडी है तो किसान के लिए सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज यही है कि उसने फसल को प्रोड्यूस तो कर दिया और उसे बेचने कहाँ जाए एंड टू एंड कोई ऐसा कोई अभी सॉल्यूशन नहीं है कि हम वहाँ पे जाएं um, the green revolution, as good as it was for us at that particular point in time, the transition from quantity to quality had to be a state led endeavor. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it wasn't yeah. because they concentrated a lot more on quantity. Mm -hmm. And the whole system that has been built according has been built according to those practices. So quantity is respected, but quality is not. And organic works on the fact that even if it's not quality, there's a nutritional advantage, which is not there. And there's no place where, you know, you get your, where you get an advantage for doing it in a certain way, which has to be a safe level. Mohit ji, I would like to ask you a question. As you are doing organic farming, you have been doing your farm, you have said that you have set a big market, you have not a market for organic produce. Now, as you are doing such farms, there are many communities that are growing, but are these trends only in the metro cities, or in tier 2 cities, are these trends still happening in the metro cities? Now, there is no metro cities in the metro cities. Their people are demanding a little bit, but the demand is so low that they are not able to reach the farmers to the farmers. क्योंकि उसमें कॉस्ट इतनी बढ़ जाएगी कि फिर वो लेने वाले को काफी उसमें प्रॉब्लम्स आएंगी तो अभी ये केवल मेट्रो सिटी में ही पॉसिबल है 
On that note, let's move from the farm to the table. This is a fun segment called Sip Happens. We have these uh, health shots, energy shots sponsored by Ojo Lifestyle. And we're going to play a rapid fire round. You have to fight for this beautiful hamper by Krishi Kress. These are products made using naturally grown organic produce from your community. So I will ask one Muhavra from both of you. I will tell you about the Muhavra. You have to complete it. जो पहले कर देगा वो सेफ है जो नहीं करेगा उसको ये शॉट पीना है ठीक है सो आई यू रेडी लेट्स स्टार्ट रोटी कपड़ा और मकान <laughs> इन्होंने पहले बोला तो आपको शॉट लेना पड़ेगा अगला सवाल जय जवान जय दिस टाइम इट्स यू बुरी नजर वाले तेरा मुंह काला <laughs> In sync. Okay, so both are safe. Agar badiya? Bens. Bandar ke jane? Adrak aswad. Aasman se gire? Khajur pe latke. Khajur pe latke. Thik hai. Khajur pe latke. I'll give that to him. Well done. Doot ka doot? Pani ka pani. Kis khet ki? Murgi. In sync. And the last one. Ghar ki murgi? Dal bura bura. Come on, sir. अब तो हेल्दी होके जा रहे हैं यहाँ से। So both of you did wonderfully, but since he's come from the farmlands here, I'm going to give the hamper to him. Congratulations, Mohit ji. आप ये बहुत ही अच्छा सा हैम्पर आपने जीता है। Don't be disheartened, Yajush. We're not going to let you go empty-handed. Uh, since we've been talking about organic farming and both of you are growers, uh, producers of organic produce, we have these special gift hampers from Native Organica who are our gift partners. And we are going to leave you with these little... We have these little mementos from our title sponsor, Zokunut. I'm going to read this out. For you. Uh, we applaud your spirit of entrepreneurship and wish you all the best for future endeavors. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Yadu, and all the very best to you. Never been done before. Today, we actually had farmers come on our show and educate us and inform us about the difference between organic farming, commercial farming, organic produce, natural produce, and the importance of buying and consuming organic produce. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Bohot kuch seekhne ko mila hai, and uh, all the very best to the Thank both you. of you and pleasure. Kaisa Farm. Thank you. Buri nazar wale? Tera mung kala. <laughs> In sync. Okay, so both are safe. Agar badi ya? Bens. <laughs> Vasad wale me achha hindi pada hai. Dal me kuch? <laughs> achha pide ya. Thik hai. Okay, we'll go to the other one. Bandar ke jane? Uh, In sync. Apni khichdi? किसी को नहीं आता अलग पका था तो इसमें ही क्या करें दोनों की है कि नहीं अच्छा ओके आसमान से गिरे खजूर प्रवर्त के ठीक है खजूर प्रवर्त के I'll give that to him ready दूध का दूध पानी का पानी जूस पे जूस शॉट पे शॉट <laughs>